Life after surgery. Hey, we heard you had a fall and injured your hip. But congratulations, your hip surgery was a huge success. Everything went according to plan. And the doctors say that you are well on your way to making a complete recovery and will be back to your normal routine in no time. While this is amazing news, your road to recovery might hit a few speed bumps before you reach your destination. The surgery is half the battle. Dealing with the various complications that may arise post-operatively is a battle on its own. By teaming up with the Demystifying Medicine program and their seminar on hip attack trials by the Population Health Research Institute, we're presenting to you the various complications that you may face after your hip surgery. Depending on the type of surgery, as well as your prior overall health, the magnitude of post-operative complications may vary fall under three main categories immediate complications complications during early stages of recovery and late stages of recovery this goes to show that you may be at risk for a variety of different conditions associated with post-operative complications while they can be transient and often are it is possible they can cause death even five years after surgery but this video wasn't made to scare you but rather to inform you so that you're in the driver's seat for your personal health. So what are some types of post-operative conditions? We'll be discussing common complications that arise due to anesthetics, low urine output, infection, and thromboembolism. Let's begin with anesthetics. While it is essential to ensure that the patient is under anesthetics, it does have its associated risks, specifically airway complications involving the respiratory and circulatory system. Abnormal ventilation may develop under anesthetics which may lead to pneumonia and increase your hospital stay for almost 7-9 to nine days and increase costs. Additionally, vessels that are damaged during surgery can develop infections or burst due to increases in blood pressure. Furthermore, there is a risk of incurring damage to internal structures which can cause leakage of bile and gastrointestinal contents, sepsis, and contribute to extensive internal and external hemorrhaging. Secondly, low urine output is a very common complication that arises in patients following surgery. Renal complications may be associated with hypotension from sepsis, hypovolemia from hemorrhage, and a blocked urinary catheter. Thirdly, infection is also a very common complication. While medicine is progressing in terms of antibiotics, there is a never-ending arms race in the battle of antibiotic-resistant bacteria which have the possibility of developing into what is called a superbug. Infection can be triggered by events that happen before or after surgery, and they range from mild to severe. Finally, one of the biggest and deadliest complications of hip surgery is the development of thromboembolism, specifically deep vein thrombosis and or pulmonary embolism. Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms within one or more of the deep veins in your body, usually occurring within your legs. Pulmonary embolism is normally a side effect caused by deep vein thrombosis and it is caused by a blockage in one of the pulmonary arteries in your body. In most cases of pulmonary embolism, blood clots from other parts of the body travel to the lung. Both these conditions can happen without any visible symptoms and are important to monitor due to the increased risks of heart attacks. Blood thinning medications like heparin or a subsequent surgical intervention may be required to combat this. Now this may be quite a mouthful and may seem daunting, but you should not be worried. You can rest assured that medical staff are well trained in understanding and monitoring outpatients to minimize risk of any post-surgery complications. However, it is the duty of the patient to take control of your health and be medically informed. Please visit the Population Health Research Institute page and the Demystifying Medicine page for more information. Thank you for watching.